Hey guys, Barely Good here. Going to give you a quick rundown on how I wash my gear. Uh, I do a really simple way. Uh, I don't have one of those fancy places that you can uh, take your gear to and have it do that like sanitizing spray. So I just do it at home in my bathtub. Uh, I do this about once a year, which seems to be good enough because I do air my gear out pretty much after every game. Uh, and I do wear like the an undergarments of stuff that I do wash of after every game. All right, so all I do is I uh, fill up my tub with some warm water. Uh, I start off with putting in some OxyClean. Uh, that's stuff you can add in that helps out with detergent for your clothes. Um, I've washed my gear with just this before, and it's come out just fine. Um, so I, I recommend this as a very easy uh, thing to use to clean your gear. It's, uh, I think, pretty safe for everything. Uh, so I just throw that in the water. Um, I do a couple scoopfuls of it, uh, nothing very exact. Uh, the other thing I use here is this stuff called uh, Sweat X Sports Detergent. Uh, I have a link for that uh, below in the description. Uh, and that's just a, a detergent that's made for like the wick away clothing uh, that you get. Uh, so I add in some of that, uh, agitate the water up, it gets real, real sudsy then. Um, then all I start doing is adding in my gear. Uh, I try and take it apart as much as possible. So like my shin guards, uh, I disassemble those and get the liners out. Uh, the liners are usually what get way more gross, way more sweaty than the outside parts do. So I do take those out, uh, get those in there, um, and then just throw everything else in. I take my suspenders off of my pants because there's no reason to have the suspenders have to get clean. They should be just fine. So get everything in there, kind of swish it around a little bit, get stuff wet. Uh, and then I throw my gloves in on the top. Uh, I try not to get them as wet as everything else. So they just kind of sit on top for the most part of everything. And I do dunk them a little bit later, but not nearly as much as you see me doing with all the other gears. You see, I'm kind of pressing it down, trying to squeeze the water into all the foam parts of everything. Because uh, that's really what you're going to clean. This isn't going to so much clean anything plastic. It's really going to clean, get into the foam and clean that out. So I kind of try and dunk everything in there, uh, squeeze the stuff, get all the soap and oxyclean and everything into those foam pieces. And you can see the water pretty quickly starts to get disgusting. So not, it doesn't take a whole lot of work to uh, get, get this stuff uh, clean very quickly. Uh, after everything's kind of been sitting in there for about 10-15 minutes, I just go ahead drain out all the disgusting, gross, uh, who knows what filled water out of the tub with all the gear in there. Uh, and then I start up with the next step. Uh, that next step there is actually use a um, hand shower head, I guess you would call it, and a little bit of cooler water. I don't know if that makes a difference, uh, but I use that to kind of rinse out some of the stuff. And I start with the things that are easier probably to, to get rinsed out. Start with the gloves. Um, I rinse them out really good. Uh, I do have a glove dryer that I use to dry them because they will stay uh, really, really wet. Um, they absorb water pretty easily. So I do try and squeeze them out as much as possible, uh, which doesn't work super great to get them dry, uh, but it kind of does. The next thing I do is the shin pad liners, which those are super easy to squeeze out. That's why I don't worry about kind of trying to get them into the water otherwise and do a bunch of rinses with them. Some people will go through and keep doing rinses of all their gear until the water is clean, which I've never done that. I just do this. Uh, it seems to work just fine for my gear. All right, after everything's kind of been washed with that, I refill the tub up with some clean water just for the pants and my shoulder pads, just because those are kind of harder to, I feel, get clean and they get a little bit dirtier than everything else. Uh, you also notice in there, I did happen to forget my elbow pads, uh, so pull those out of there. Those are mostly plastic, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but again, the pants and the shoulder pads seem to get kind of the, the most abused of any of my other gear, so that's why they kind of get this second run through with clean water. Uh, same thing as before though, I just kind of drain that out, let all the water come out from there. Do my best to dry them out. Um, they're both pretty tough to dry out actually. Pants are easily the worst things to dry out, 
and then it's take everything and head outside with it. I lay everything outside on a picnic table in my backyard. Uh, I move the picnic table around, around my backyard to get it as much into the sun as possible. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me through the wind here. Uh, as you can see, uh, the stuff came out here looks, uh, it's actually super, super dry. Um, get a little bit of weird uh, coloration on here from uh, some of the soap and stuff drying on it. Um, not a big deal. That's some of the like OxyClean stuff that I did on there uh, dries off. You can see like the gloves, gloves are still pretty wet because um, they take up a lot of water even though they weren't in there very long. But everything else, I don't know if you can tell, is extremely, extremely dry. Um, and stuff's only been out here for, uh, let's see, about four-ish hours. Um, this is why I like to do this now at the end of summer, because uh, the weather for this has been perfect. You can kind of take a look out here. It's really nice weather outside. It's high today was around uh, 80, 84 degrees, something like that. And uh, it was sunny. Um, it was a little bit windy because it's supposed to rain a little bit later on tonight. So pretty much perfect for uh, drying gear out. So yeah, all the gear, it's been out here. I flipped it once. Um, I always start everything with the black side up if there's um, something like this where there's a, a like lighter side and a darker side. I just put the darker side up so that way it kind of heats up, helps to uh, get rid of a lot of the water. And then I come out oh, after maybe an hour or two, flip stuff over. And yeah, everything looks good. Um, like I said, the only thing that's still a little bit wet is the gloves are still a little bit wet, um, which is fine. I'm going to put them on the dryer uh, that I have, the uh, glove dryer uh, little contraption, and that'll take care of those. But everything else, super dry. Uh, stuff is now all clean, disinfected. Should be good for uh, another year or so of playing.